Linergy have sent a battery charger and some batteries in to look at. They did include AA and AAA batteries. These are lithium ion 1.5 volts. I thought it was an interesting product. Haven't looked at a charger or cells for a while. As expected, the charger has multiple protections. It's a three in one design with a battery tester, charger, and a storage compartment. You get a 1.2 meter USB C cable, and there are four adapters for AAA batteries. They recommend you use a power supply of 15 watts or higher. And I've just put some of the information up on the screen for you. The build quality does feel very nice. It does feel like a premium product. The plastics are quite thick and dense. The charging bays are individual, so they will charge separately. They have an LED indicator over the top. On the right, there is an indicator which tells you the batteries that you've charged and gives you an idea of the CO2 that you've saved. The tray at the bottom is removable. You can just pull that out, and that is your compartment for storing up to 40 batteries. So clearly this is aimed at someone who does use quite a few AA or AAA batteries. Quite a clean look overall. There's nothing on the left or right hand side. On the back section we do have the USB-C input. On the underside a couple of silicone pads. You'll also see some of the voltage output there. 2 to 5 volts up to 350 milliamps. You do have indicators for the charging status and power check. This charger supports the lithium ion 1.5 batteries, nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium. Not too many people are using the nickel cadmium, but nickel metal hydride is also quite popular. But you do have to use the adapters for the AAA batteries. You can put any number of batteries that you want into the charger, so it will charge one individually, right the way up to eight. Do note that the bait on the right hand side is the only one which you can use for the battery check. It flashes yellow when it's testing and it either goes green, yellow or red. You can manually do that as well if you want by pressing the button quickly on the top right hand side. Nice and simple really, although there are potential for a couple of areas that I might tweak on this which I'll talk about later. There's nothing to worry about inserting the cells the wrong way around because the positive terminal is recessed, it just won't connect. One thing to mention is the charging rate, and with the Linergy cells, these 1.5 volt lithium ones, they're rated to 1200 charge cycles, but in addition to that, they charge in around about three hours. And that is due to the fact that the charging rate is five volts, which is quite a bit higher than the nickel metal hydride charging voltage. That's one potential plus point with these batteries. They do charge quite quickly. But it is nice that you can charge the other batteries because that makes it much more versatile and useful. Now it is possible, other than pulling the cells out yourself, which of course you can do, if you push that button and hold it in, it will actually release the batteries. It did pick up a defective battery that I put in just to test, and this particular one is a AAA and it will not charge. That is the reason why that is flashing red. When it is charging cells, if you press the button, it does give you a QR code and that gives you some kind of graphic display of the tree that you're growing by saving CO2. I thought we'd take a look at these lithium ion batteries quickly. These batteries charge up to 1.5 volts and they hold that voltage much longer than a nickel metal hydride, which typically is around about 1.2 volts for most of its discharge cycle company says it's also got very strong casing on these batteries. I'll put the link below for this so you can check out all of the information. But we're going to do a quick capacity test with these batteries. Of course the charger that I have, the Sky RC, that will be able to test the cells in a discharge mode. And the results were pretty close to the quoted figures, slightly higher for the AAAs and just a touch under for the AAs. You'll be fine with the power output for most devices, particularly things like torches, electronic devices such as kids' toys and clocks. They're not really designed for high output items such as flash guns. They are typically quite high in terms of their current drain, but they're fine for other things such as a battery grip for a camera. A couple of minor drawbacks, the fact you have to use the adapters for the AAA batteries, although I don't use that many of those myself. Would have liked to have had a voltage check on that e-ink display, that would have been useful. 
But leaving that aside, I think it's quite an interesting unit. It does offer hassle-free charging, and those lithium-ion batteries do certainly have some advantages. If you have any thoughts or questions on this, do drop a comment below. I'd be very interested to hear what you think of this, if this is something which you would find useful. Thanks for watching. I do, as always, appreciate it, and I hope to see you in future videos.